welcome student now we are trying to complete our practical now one where already one a is been completed one b is completed one c is completed one d is also entirely completed only the last part is remaining that i am trying to complete in this video that is find the sum of the digits of a given number now the logic behind finding the sum of the digits and reversing the number which we had seen in earlier video is one and the same so what's the difference which will be coming up in this program like the same thing is going to be there execute the following statement till the time the value of number is greater than 0 the remainder we need to calculate and instead of finding the reverse what i will do it i will just write a small part like sum equal to sum plus remainder so this is the only thing which is required to be changed so instead of reverse over here we will try to find a variable called as sum initial it is going to be 0 next is going to be 3 the next it will be 5 that is 3 plus 2 and the next it will be 3 plus 2 plus 1 that is 6 so again like 5 plus 1 it is going to be 6 so the logic which has been explained by me in the earlier video for river the same logic is going to be there for finding sum of the digit but only difference is what we are finding the statement called as sum equal to sum plus remainder so let's try to complete this particular small function for that reason i'm specifying public end sum of digits in the bracket n tan now i need to calculate the sum of digits so i just try to utilize the same logic saying end sum equal to 0 uh, remainder equal to also going to be 0 as the initial part i can use a for loop i can use while loop i am preferably using the while loop by saying while the value of n must be what greater than 0 and the same three statement that is remainder equal to n mod 10 further sum equal to sum plus remainder and n equal to n divided by 10 and then we are trying to return the value of what here sum so this is a simple uh, logic for what is sum of digits let us try to work out with the switch case that is for the choice of 6 so here i am adding the k6 and specifying console dot write line or console dot write enter number further i would like to accept the value from the user so i am just finding over here by saying in text equal to in dot parse in the bracket console dot read line so value is accepted from the user in a variable called as x i am directly interested in displaying it just so just saying console dot write line in the bracket i am specifying the object name as p1 and finding the function called as sum of digit passing the value of x it returns the sum of digit i would like to display a message also so i just write sum of digits sir over here you have taken another variable in that you have stored the value of uh, uh, reverse the why you are not taking the another variable over here that depends on you if you want to take one more variable which will be find in the sum of digits and then that variable you would like to display you can use the same logic and again i had to use the break statement because in switch case i need to use the break statement so completion of program is done i am just trying to run the program once again the choice okay still there is the error now let us try to find out the error is say local variable uh, or a function named x already is defined in the scope right the variable x is already declared so i just remove this now i run the program once again so it asks me the choice i am interested in giving the choice to it as 6 that is sum of digit it asks me the number it given the number as 3 25 and the answer you are getting it as what you get 10 so absolutely correct the sum of digits of the given number is what 10 so this is the way in which the program need to be what we can say been executed by us that is nothing but your practical number 1d a uh, shortly like maybe tomorrow or the day after tomorrow i will be starting with the video for working with the object oriented c sharp and asp.net along with that i am planning to create some kind of conceptual video like explaining the types of in returns or the sealed classes sealed method method overriding method hiding etc 
तो फर्स्ट वी आर प्लानिंग टू गो फॉर कंप्लीटिंग दोज कंसेप्शल वीडियोज and then slowly slowly we will be coming with the practical number 2 also we hope so that uh, you are been understanding this particular program with our video uh, please subscribe the channel and if any kind of suggestions are there please update the suggestion comments thanks a lot